Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner Hard Mode. First of all, I will stream SnowRunner on my Twitch channel in the week before Christmas. I will update my streaming schedule accordingly. You can find the link to my Twitch channel down below in the description. If you have any feedback, please post it in the comments below and consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed the series. But now, let's get going. In the last episode we managed to flip our main workhorse, the Fleet Star. On the other hand, we managed to open all roads on this map and secure some fuel. As good as the Fleet Star still is, in the muddy terrain we struggle more and more and it's time we develop our fleet. Now it's time to do some mission work and gather experience and earn some credits in the process. We can start with a mission named The Essentials as we can find the bricks needed right here at this warehouse. Taking the main road to the farm is a bad idea. With the road tire still mounted, it will be a struggle. As an alternative, there is an approach south and north of the farm. Of course, I cannot remember the southern approach exactly, so I take null modem's route north of the farm. Having delivered the bricks, I activate the task near the farmhouse. To complete the mission I need wooden planks. There would be another warehouse at the other end of the map, but it is a shorter way to get back to Black River to get the wooden planks there. On the way back to Black River we get some service spare parts. We can use them for the riverside repair task.
I return the same way back I came and do not cross the marshes. As we go to the town anyway, we can look for the curtain side trailer of the Motel Rose task as well. I make it back to town with 53 liters left in my tank. This is approaching the edge of my comfort zone when it comes to fuel. Time to deliver the trailer to the motel. We need two wooden planks for the riverside repair task and two wooden planks for the essentials mission. Now you know why I parked one trailer in town. Time to pick it up now and get the planks. When loading the planks, I put the fleet star between the trailer and the loading station. The loading crane does not have the range to load freight onto an attached trailer. Additionally, I try to remember to disable all-wheel drive as the engine consumes more fuel idling when all-wheel drive is active. It's a small amount, but with manual loading it adds up over time.
With everything loaded, we top up the fuel and head back towards Smithville Dam. But before we can finish the essentials, we need to deliver the wooden planks to its destination for the riverside repair task. Again, I was lucky not to take any damage there. We can leave the trailer here as the gas station only has limited space when it comes to loading freight. Loading the final items for the mission and topping up fuel again before we head off to the farm to deliver our goods.
with the heavy load and still on road tires, the fleet star struggles. Fortunately, there are enough winch points around if you need one. With the completion of the Essentials we reach rank 5. If you are curious about what a road trip in SnowRunner looks like, subscribe to get a notification when the next episode goes up. That's it for now, see you next time.